Hi everyone, so let's continue our journey and in the couple of videos we are going to talk about Nessie Swim testing with the Type RM, Sequelize, Mungoose, Prisma and then we will start our journey with the end-to-end -end testing. So in the NSCS, you can write end-to-end -end testing with the super test or Pactum and we are going to build test suit. We are going to run the end-to-end -end test tests on CI-CD pipeline. We are, we are going to run the coverage and we are going to cover all the scenarios of end-to-end -end testing. So let's stay tuned. Hi everyone and in this video we are going to talk about unit testing and there are four special use cases we are talking here. Let's say in, a, in your application you are using type ORM, you are using SQLize, you are using Prisma or Mongoose. So in that case how can you mock the repository? How can you mock the model? How can you mock the Prisma service? How can you mock the, the Mongoose model interface through which you are trying to fetch the data? So unit testing is all about how you are mocking your service interface which is actually talking to the type ORM repository, uh, Prisma service or a SQLize uh, repository, SQLize model or a Mongoose model. So that we are going to talk here. So these are the three, four different possible combinations. Prisma and this is all unit testing because we are just going to mock the interface, all these interfaces which are provided by the, the type ORM, SQLize, Prisma and Mongoose. So first we will talk, we are talking about unit test, unit test with Prisma, then unit test with the type ORM and SQLize, then unit test with the Mongoose. So this is a simple example we have and uh, what do we have in this example? In the, I mean this is the last video where we have already talked about create mock. The utility which we discovered, this is a nice library to provide a mock version. When you have a service which has a 10 dependencies, you can just use a use mocker. And if you want to mock individual service interface, then you can just use a create mock of type HTTP service. So it was very useful. And now that is the next. And here we are going to talk about our different interface. So first we are talking about Mongoose. Mongoose has this interface like a get model token. So Nest.js Mongoose is the, the module which we use and what it does. So we, we are just going to have a Docker container. So we are going to spin the MongoDB on the Docker container and then Nest.js is going to talk to uh, the Docker container. Let's spin the docker container. I kill the process, existing process. Now I can just do docker compose up. So my MongoDB container is up and running. And these are the containers, three containers, Mongo, Postgres and Redis. And what I will do is I can see the applications really works. These are just stack cat controller and services. So let's try to write uh, as test cases for our service. So here we are doing all these methods. These are, these are the controller method, insert one, update one, delete one, find, get all. And then controller is using this service. And this is how we are uh, providing Mongoose model.core feature that is a module level. And at the root module, we are saying Mongoose module.core root and providing the MongoDB, uh, the URI. This is how you can initialize the Mongoose module for your application. And now we will just go to cat module and cat service. This is cat service is the thing which we are going to mock. So here we can see we have a get all method. So we are going to write the unit test for cat service by mocking this cat model which is being injected in the service. And then we can just check, okay, find one, find, find, find one update and remove the, uh, all these methods. We can check here. So we are going to mock the model interface. So here let's start writing the simple tests. So here mock cat, the cat we are going to return. So this is using mongoose. In the mongoose we define the models. Models are nothing but a representation of a simple uh, entity class. Like even if you are using simple express mongoose, there also you define the 
mongodb db model uh, interface now we will just uh, describe it and we are going to create a testing module in testing module we will specify what tests we are writing so let's create a testing module interface here we are going to have a get service and this model of get document and then we are just going to just create a testing module before each before because when you are running a test before every test execution we need to have the testing module created and we need to get the instance of service and this model and how we do it the const module equal to testing module await test dot create testing module I mean it's the same for almost all different type of unit tests we have written and this is same for even all in e2 tests or unit test so here we are providing cat service and then we are overriding the cat service uh, interface here we are going to inject the model so we are mocking the model get model token we are trying to get the cat model token and here use value so we are going to override the model token i mean cat with this object so you can define this uh, empty cat model token so here all these methods which we are executing against this model we can just mock them mock return value and we can just say okay, whenever whenever you are calling a create then we will just give you the new cat object similarly there are these all different methods find find one update delete uh, remove exec now we can just get the cat service and the model in instance get model token and we can check okay all these methods uh, because here if you see what we are trying to mock we mock the cat model inside cat model we have all these methods find exec so there is a find method then there is a execute method so we have to mock it based on the that this signature only so here you see if uh, first we are trying to spy on model find mock return value so what whenever you are trying to do cat model this dot cat dot find then still you are calling dot exec so mock return value it is returning a mock value object with exec method i mean exec is just a value and it is uh, just returning you the function just dot function mock return value once cat array so you can assert it that service dot get all should be whatever you are getting from the service dot get all should be having cat dot equal to the cat array so call the actual method now assert the result with the mock value same thing we are doing everywhere we are spying on model find one mock return value and here we are using create mock so you can also use a create mock create mock actually exposes these typescript definitions also here we have execute method just dot function dot mock return value once create mock so similarly we have defined we have we are doing a unit testing of all the methods which are provided which the service is using find find one find by id and update find by id and delete so what is the overall picture we have seen here we are just using get model token while writing the tests of service we are using get model token to get the instance of that model which is being which is being injected inside a service and we provided our own mock version so we are just calling that 